Hello everyone. In this video, we're going to be simplifying an expression with complex numbers. To be exact, i is the number whose square equals negative 1. It's also called the imaginary unit. So by definition, i squared equals negative 1. And then you can kind of define complex numbers using this, such as uh, a plus bi, where a and b are real numbers, and i is the number whose square equals negative 1. Make sense? Great. So those are going to be complex numbers, and 1 plus i is a complex number, and we are raising it to the power 23. Obviously, you can also do this with 2023, but that's going to take up too much space, so I kind of simplified the problem for you and made it 23. Okay? I'll be presenting uh, sort of two methods, but um, I'm also going to give you a hint on the third method, which will not be complete, but I just want to tell you, share with you my ideas. So let's start with the first method. Now we have a complex number and we're going to raise it to the power 23. So first method involves the following. We're going to turn this into the polar form. So to be able to do that, we're going to find, let's go ahead and call this z first. I'm going to find the absolute value of z, which is also called r, which is the square root of 1 squared plus 1 squared, and that will be square root of 2. That is called the modulus, also the absolute value. If you graph this, then it's going to represent the distance from 0. Make sense? Okay. This is the imaginary axis, this is the real axis, and this is our number 1 plus i. And this is the theta, the angle that our vector, number, complex number, whatever you want to call it, makes with the positive x-axis. Okay. So this allows us to write our number in this form, which is r times e to the power i theta. r is the modulus, remember that. So 1 plus i can be written as 1 over root 2. By the way, r is root 2, but why did I... Okay, that's wrong. I'm supposed to take out... I'm sorry, I'm ahead of myself. We take out the r, and then inside, since we have to have 1, uh, this becomes 1 over root 2, and this becomes 1 over root 2, and multiply by i. Now, we're looking for numbers or an angle whose cosine is this and whose sine is this. Or whose tangent is 1, but it has to be in the first quadrant. So that angle is pi over 4. Awesome. And you can tell from here, right? It's kind of like an isosceles right triangle that makes pi over 4 angle. For pi over 4 radians. Great. So let's go ahead and simplify this. I'm going to be able to write 1 plus i as root 2 times e to the power pi over 4i. Now I'm going to go ahead and raise it to the power 23. That means raise this to the power 23 and raise this to the power 23. I don't have to worry about the other branches because this is a number, not a variable. Like there's no x in the denominator. denominator no, I mean exponent. Okay. This is just a single value, right? Cool. Now, first of all, we're going to raise this guy to the power 23, which can be done like this. You can kind of split it up into two vectors so that you can make the uh, exponent even. And then this is just going to be e to the power 23 pi over 4 multiplied by i. You're just going to multiply the exponents, right? But 23 pi over 4 is way, way greater than 2 pi. So let's go ahead and simplify this. I can write it as 16 pi plus 7 pi over 4 or 4 pi plus 7 pi over 4. But 4 pi is equal to 0 radians. So I can just deal with 7 pi over 4. What is root 2 to the power 22? That is just 2 to the power 11, and that is 2048. How do I know that? Because I memorized 2 to the 10th power, which is 1024. I probably memorized this too, but anyways, you get the idea. Now, we get the following. 1 plus i to the power 23 becomes square root of 2 to the power 22, which is 2048 multiplied by root 2, because remember, we had, that we had an extra root 2 because 23 is an odd number. Multiply by e to the power 7 pi over 4 i. A lot of times I forget to write the i. In some of the videos I think I did, but hopefully you caught that. Okay, how do you simplify this further? Well, from Euler's formula, thank you very much Euler for this, we can write this number as 
cosine of 7 pi over 4 plus i sine 7 pi over 4. And then cosine 7 pi over 4, if you think about it, this is going to be in the fourth quadrant. Cosine is positive, not sine is negative. So it's just going to be the same thing pretty much with some variation on the sine, sine of sine. Okay, it's just going to be like that. And when you distribute this number over, you're going to get 2048 minus 2048i, which you can write as 2048 times, if you want, 1 minus i. And that's going to be the answer. Either way is fine. Let's go ahead and talk about the second method real quick because after that, we need to talk about the third method super duper quick. Okay. Why quick? Because it's going to take forever. All right, cool. So expand second power. Why do we do that? Because 1 plus i squared is special. And if you remember, we used this idea in a recent video. I'll probably share the link here and down below. If you expand this, i squared is negative 1, so this cancels out, and you get a super duper special power. Now, this helps me raise this guy to the power of 23 because I can do the following. Raise it to the second power, and then raise that to the 11th power, and then just multiply by 1 plus i once, and you got it. 1 plus i squared is 2i, raise it to the 11th power, super duper easy. Well, is it? Yeah. It's a product, so you're just going to do 2 to the 11th times i to the 11th times 1 plus i. But what is i to the 11th power? Let's go ahead and do it on the side, right? What is i to the 11th? Well, you got to remember i to the 8th is 1 because i to the 4n is 1 if n is an integer. They always ask me, like, specify what n is. n is an integer. Let me say it one more time. So this is 1. Answer is i cubed, but i cubed is negative i. Okay. So, this is negative i. So, it brings a negative here. This is 2048. Multiply that by 1 plus i. And you're going to get, actually, never mind. This is wrong because i to the power 11 is i cubed, but that's negative i. Sorry about that. So, it's going to be negative 2 to the power 11i times 1 plus i. I forgot to put the i there. And then you're going to distribute this negative 2 to the power 11. i times 1 is i plus i squared. i squared is negative 1. i minus 1. Distribute one more time. You're going to get negative 2 to the power. Let's write it negative 2048i plus 2048. And as you know, this is the same thing as 2048 minus 2048i. As before. Yay, we got the same answer. It shouldn't be a surprise, right? Obviously. Let's go ahead and talk about the third method very briefly, super duper quick. Okay, here's what the third method is, and I'm like kind of <laughs> I'm just laughing to myself. Use the binomial theorem. Uh-oh. How do you use the binomial theorem? You just expand it. Good luck with that. a to the power 23, and then 23 choose 1, a to the power 22b, 23 choose 2, a to the power 21b squared, but that that. And if you apply it, you're hopefully going to get the answer. But guess what? You're going to have some terms with i, some terms with numbers. You're going to simplify, put it together. And if you still have the patience or if you didn't make any mistakes, which is very unlikely, you're going to get the same answer. And this brings us to the end of this video. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. I'll see you next time with another video. Until then, be safe. Take care. And don't forget to watch the shorts. Bye-bye.